community of practice is actually a very simple concept. It's the idea of a learning partnership among people who want to make a difference and then help each other develop their capacity to make that difference. This is not a new concept. The term was coined in the 80s, but this is something that human beings have been doing since the beginning of history. I mean, when you see people coming together, probably fairly regularly, to talk about what they do in their practice, and they recognize that they have similar issues, similar challenges, similar opportunities. That's what you're looking at when you look at a community of practice. There's just the value of finding someone who is a partner, someone who understands what you're struggling with. And then there's the value of the new insights that you generate by coming together. One of the value of a committee of practice, as opposed to simply a conference or, or a course, yet it has this continuous process of learning from practice and bringing back your learning. But there's also a value in the world, is that by learning how to do something better, you also legitimize it in the broader world as a legitimate practice. But it helps you to become somebody who can make a difference. You can draw on your colleagues, and if you care to make a difference in the world, it's a way to make a difference. And so you become an agent. The joy and the relief of meeting other people like me, you know, feeling here's a place for my voice, here's a place where I am heard, here is a place where I'm seen. And then, of course, something that's fairly unique about this community of practice is the way that it lives across different organizations. Something that jumps out at me is how slick and impressive and inspiring the team is. We have seen some of what we would say is the best support for a community of practice that we've ever seen. There is a deep recognition and respect for the voice of practice, for the voice of the practitioner. I think another thing that strikes me is the potential you have, or the number of stories that you have, of how the activities in this community of practice have made a difference to people, and how important collaboration is, and what happens if collaboration doesn't happen. So the potential for systematically, and with discipline, collecting those stories is huge. Our hope is that this community is going to make this practice a recognized dimension of humanitarian work. What you are doing across organizations could become a model, not just in the field of uh, humanitarian negotiations, but also other aspects of, of uh, capacity development in the world, it's important to document what you're doing because many people can learn from it. Mm -hmm.